citizens today. Sunday, 8 December, will mark 11 years since CARICOM and the Republic of Cuba jointly agreed to institute the CARICOM Cuba Day in 2002 with the signing of the Havana Declaration. This decision was taken in Havana at a summit of the heads of government of CARICOM and Cuba in order to commemorate the cordial and productive relations that exist between our countries. In retrospect, Caribbean relations with Cuba have evolved tremendously over the past few decades. We have transcended times of diplomatic isolation with our Caribbean sister, when in 1972, 41 years ago, visionary leaders of, our, of four CARICOM countries, namely Barbados, Guyana, Jamaica, and Trinidad and Tobago, opened the door to establish diplomatic relations with the Republic of Cuba, which had been politically ostracized by the United States of America. It is imperative that I highlight the courage and determination of these political stalwarts to embrace Havana during a time when intra-Caribbean relations with Cuba were nil. Indeed, this was an historic moment that broke the trend of separation and put into operation the relevant machinery which would oversee the development of strong ties between CARICOM countries and the Cuban government and people. Their efforts have greatly impacted the lives of many Caribbean people today. It therefore gives me great pleasure to reflect upon the journey that Kittishans and Nivisions commenced 18 years ago, when the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis established diplomatic relations with Cuba in 1995. This strategic decision underscored a new aspect of our foreign policy, which sought to strengthen and support the integrated reinsertion of the Republic of Cuba in hemispheric affairs. Over the years, the Republic of Cuba has exhibited a great capacity to enthrall and engage CARICOM countries in many areas of functional cooperation despite its lack of financial and economic resources. CARICOM member states have benefited enormously from its relations with Cuba in education and health and for its provision of technical assistance in sports, agriculture, and culture. This partnership of South to South cooperation continues to reverberate with us as developing nations, positively impacting our human development and contributing to an increase in trade and economic activities. Our provision of healthcare services has been greatly enhanced by the deployment of Cuban medical care professionals who are attached to our principal healthcare facilities, the Joseph and France General Hospital in St. Kitts and the Alexander Hospital in Nevis. Since the program was established in 1998, many medical specialists, including radiologists, pediatricians, ophthalmologists, orthopedics, have worked here on behalf of the government of Cuba. The people of St. Kitts and Nevis continue to deepen its ties with the Republic of Cuba, offering its support in a number of international fora, specifically the Cuban Resolution at the United Nations, which appeals to the United States to lift the trade embargo, which results in much economic hardship on Cuban families. December 8 represents a major accomplishment in the forging of closer inter-regional relations with Cuba. In the spirit of Caribbean unity, this day epitomizes the importance of developing and maintaining good relations with one's neighbors and the benefits that can be achieved collectively in the areas of cooperation, including peace, education, security, and health. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and by extension, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis takes this opportunity to thank the government of the Republic of Cuba, which through its resident ambassador, His Excellency Hugo Reyes Cabrera, continues to dialogue with us to deepen our relations for the advancement of our peoples. As Minister of Foreign Affairs, 
and on behalf of the government and people of St. Kitts and Nevis. I also encourage our people to build on the existing relations with Cuba by augmenting greater interaction with a view to enhancing the perspectives of each other. I wish you a happy CARICOM Cuba Day. Viva CARICOM Cuba relations. May God bless us all. Thank you.